My name is Jeff Jamon from Merlin, and this is an Excalibur data acquisition panel. This panel is almost is very similar to our CD2, except that it has a whole set of sensors in it to detect the force that you apply to the panel and the movement of the panel in space. You may notice that the one of the principal differences is this switch unit. This is the control for the, for the onboard electronics. What we do here is we simply switch on the unit here and receive a single steady light. If I want to record, I simply hit the upper button. The paddle goes through a nulling function where it sets at zeros and warms up the sensors. And then we get a constant flashing light. That constant flashing light means that we're recording. Every stroke we take, every movement of the paddle is now recorded. At the completion of the re recording, we simply hit the upper button again and it goes back to a steady light. We've now set up a time data file. So every time we start and stop, we'll set up a new time data file. After we've finished for the day, we simply switch the paddle off by cycling through the switch to the off position. We then take the paddle to a computer, open up the USB port, which is located in the handle, and connect to the computer. Having connected the paddle to the computer, I open the Talon Results Lab software. This is the welcome screen. As you can see, I have a battery life indicator. I have a bar representing the amount of memory that's been used. And I have the remaining minutes left in terms of recording time. I'm going to go to tasks. At this point, I can download the recordings from the paddle by clicking this icon box. But I've already done this, so I'm going to go view recordings graphically and look at some recordings that we already have. In this box you can see the recorded files. This is our classic 10 stroke test. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Each one of these curves represents a stroke. The top of the stroke is measured on the left hand side in kilos. The bottom of the scale is time in seconds. This stroke is for a male dragon boat paddler. As you can see, this particular paddler has a very good catch, but tends to drift away in the middle of the stroke and has this what we call rapid declination. This stroke here is a classic M. He started the stroke, stopped paddling in the middle of the stroke and started paddling again at the back of the stroke. I can view this in more detail if I want to go next to view. At this point, I can stretch these out or compress them and look at the finer details of every stroke. I can also do statistical analysis. Statistical analysis is in some respects the point where you should start. I can select one or more files and here I'm going to select the one that we just looked at, this one here. These are the same strokes we saw before, but now we have an overlay, and what we're looking at here is rating. But I'm going to change this to impulse. Impulse is the area under the curve. That's the curve here. So we're measuring the area in this area. This represents the work effort, the amount of energy that's transferred to the paddle and moving the boat forward. The bigger this area, the better. Now you can obviously make it bigger by increasing the amount of load or you can increase the amount of time. This bar chart represents a measure of that volume. And we're looking at two things. We're looking at the height of the bar chart, but we're also looking at the consistency of the chart through the sample. A good paddler can hold their consistency through the sample. Okay, let's have a look at another paddler. The paddler we're looking at this time is a female paddler. As you can see here, this woman's chart is quite different. She is very consistent. We're looking at impulse again and they're almost equal. The other thing about her stroke is it's terribly square. She catches and she holds the power through the, the entire stroke. This is a much better technique than Dave, the sample we saw before. In reality, while the charts are very interesting, they're hard to make these sort of comparisons without some experience. The best place to go is to go to the summary. You can add 
paddlers to the summary simply by ticking the boxes on the left hand side. I've put both Marie and Dave into the summary and I'm going to go to summary now. The summary is its numerical values and this is the one you use for team selection. It's also your starting point for determining what needs to be coached. Let's have a look at these two values. They've both done the same number of strokes. But if you look at the peak power loads, they're quite different. And that's to be expected because one's a male paddler and one's a female paddler. Dave is almost twice as strong as Marie. However, if you look at the impulse, and this is the energy transferred to the boat, then Dave is only about 33% better than Marie in terms of energy to the boat. So by looking at these statistics, you would say that Marie is really just a strength issue. She has a very good stroke, but she just needs more power. Dave, on the other hand, has a reasonable amount of power, but he's just not getting that power to the water. As you can see, the Talon Excalibur paddle is an excellent tool for making these assessments and getting rid of the sort of judgmental approach that is taken by many coaches. If you'd like more information about the Excalibur paddle, please go to our website, merlingear.com.